Hello everyone, this is Charlie wishing you all a happy new year. Um, it's December 31st, 2016. And I thought uh, as a final video to end this year and welcome the new one, I would do, um, I would share my thoughts on one book, which is this one. Supergirl being super by uh, Mariko Tam Tamaki and Joel Jones. Um, one of the most anticipated reads for me uh, since you know the book was announced. I actually got this uh, as a pre-order. I actually pre-ordered this book from my shop because it's not cheap. It, I mean, it's a six dollar book here in Mexico due to the exchange rate. It cost 137 pesos, which is the equivalent of a, a book, a regular prose book about, you know, a 100-200 page book uh, in the uh, economic range. Uh, and I got this for 20% off. So, yeah, I mean, I was definitely thinking of just getting it uh, on pre-order all, all four issues, but I think I missed the... Uh, my chance for the um, second issue so anyways um, I will share my thoughts on that um, before we get to the book uh, a few quick things I have to to say uh, first off uh, videos will be kind of random uh, for a while um, I find that doing the whole weekly thing is a little bit difficult for me um, I never really have much time and this coming year at least the first few months of, of 2017 will be almost impossible for me to do weekly review uh, weekly reviews I'm not even gonna do that uh, call it reviews more like sharing my thoughts on on, on books and I will probably you know do videos I'm taking my one or two books instead of going through my whole um, weekly pull list. Um, um, so that's going to go on for a while. I'll probably even do videos not talking about comics but showing some other stuff as well. Um, a part of the reason why things are going to get a little bit hectic for me to, to do you know videos is I have been doing them for quite a few years now and I haven't been able to do it you know, in the past few months is because after 22 years uh, we'll be moving from this house so I really have we're in cleanup mode so there's a lot of stuff that I'll be throwing out some stuff we'll be keep keeping and I'll probably show some interesting things that I find you know in my closet which I haven't seen in years and you know I might find interesting sharing some of those um, things and, and the stories tied to them uh, of course I have to organize my entire comic book collecting as well so that's you know gonna you know consuming some of my time as well uh, but I will probably be do a video or two uh, if not, you know, with my uh, laptop and the webcam, probably with the uh, my phone showing some sharing some of my thoughts on on some of the books that I like, or maybe you know, I should dislike from that month or whatever. Um, you know, else I, whatever whatever book I have my thoughts on uh, or anything else. Um, so. I will try to make this a very short and quick video. So Supergirl being super. Um, when it was announced, um, I was on board. Uh, just because of the character involved and the artist, you know, Joel Jones, which uh, I'll get the, the art part of it, of, of the review of or my thoughts on, on the art quickly. Uh, it really speaks for itself. I mean, the art is fantastic. Uh, very expressive, very naturalistic as well. In you know, 
the action, you know, the body language, the um, gestures, everything, you know, just, I just love the art. And, you know, I have like this page, you know, this double page spread. Uh, and, and this one are like my two or four favorite pages uh, in, in this book. I mean, especially the first one. I mean, there's, you know, just a sense of, of freedom as she, she soared through, through the sky. Just, you know, like there's not a single care in the world for her. Um, you know, I just love the art. Uh, it's really self-explanatory. I mean, you gotta really check it out for the art alone. But the story itself, now, um, the writer is new to me. So there's always, you know, a chance that, you know, it sounds great when writers and, you know, describe what you're trying to do with, with a giving book. And it sounds great. I mean, you know, whether it's, you know, a known artist or somebody new, you know, this, the description sounds great, but sometimes the execution uh, might not really live up to to that uh, at least you know on a reader's side I mean you know as a writer you know I think my stories are great but somebody else might not think so you know uh, but you know the art that the story itself is is really a story of I wouldn't really call it a coming of age story as much as a story of self-discovery um, it also puts another thing I really like, which is nor what seems to be like a very normal mundane life, but with certain extraordinary elements to it. Like it's normal, but there's like something that's not so so normal. So it's like normal people within, you know extraordinary circumstances and uh, of course uh, Kara is not exactly normal but she's led somewhat of a normal life except for this really big chunk of her life that's missing which uh, makes the story which I thought sort of seems very familiar 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 uh because it sort of mimics a bit of, or takes a bit from superman's own origin story you know she crash lands her ship crash lands on the field you know and she lives in she grows up on a farm uh, lives in a small town pretty much uh what smallville is what superman you know origins always you know are about you know he, he got in his ship crash, la crash lands when he was a baby he's picked up by the cans he grows up in the can farm he lives he's living this in the small town of, Sm of smallville uh but and so you get that sort of very familiar feel to it you know it's the same thing basically but it also shows how different uh, the approaches are to the characters. Everybody knows Superman's origin, uh, whether it's John Burns or you know the classic origin uh, where he becomes Superboy, Superman becomes Superboy. Uh, we don't get any of that, and of course the Danvers are no Kent, and well, mostly Superman ends up sort of leaving. A Clark ends up. Being this much more reclusive uh, person, you know, the glasses, he has to be like meek, he really can't excel too much in in physical uh, activities, sport and, and the like. Uh, here we see, you know, Carr is a very athletic girl, she's in the track team, she's got friends, she pretty much lives a, a normal life despite the fact that she has power she's been able to 
sort of control them and have a that, that balance of, of living a, a normal life. The other difference is, you know, is, you know, Kalal came as a baby. Kara seems to have landed when she was a child. So the story actually starts eight years after she landed on Earth. But she doesn't remember those years prior to her landing on Earth. It's, it's a complete blank. Uh, so, one of the things that probably stuck at, to me at first, I thought, well, this is pretty bad, was the way that uh, Kara's friends are introduced. They seem to be, you know, very much labeled, almost stereotyped to a point. But then I realized, you know, it's actually we're being introduced to her friends through Kara's nar narration and through her eyes. So to her, her la their lives are a lot easier. They seem to have found their place in the world, unlike Kara, who doesn't know where she comes from. And so not knowing where she comes from, trying to find who she's supposed to be or who she wants to become is not as clear as it seems to her friends. So this very simplistic approach, I think, in the introduction uh, of, of her friends uh, is really, you know, the fact of perspective. You know, her, in her view, it's just very clear cut that her friends, you know, know who they are and who they want to become what their place in in life is so i found that uh very interesting but it, at first i thought oh, they're kind of very one-dimensional or at least introduced in a very one-dimensional way but yeah i mean i think in all of us uh we do tend to sort of label people uh as you know we don't go into that complexity of of of, of who they are we just sort of see a part of them and you know we just slap labels on, on people and and so it takes a ma an amount of of time to spend with you know these people that we meet to know all of all of all, all of them um, sort of get into that more complex la uh, complexity of, 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 of people uh, and so we do get to spend time with with Kara and her friends. So we not so much as show telling us who these you know people are, but showing us who they are through the art, through the dialogue. So uh, that's one point. I, so that's why I think it's more of a. Um, a story about you know self-realization of 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 self-discovery as to who Kara wants to be because we see that she doesn't really know who she is. If you don't know where you're from or where you came from, um, you, it's really hard to chart a a map of where you want to head. Uh, then of course you know the big hook for me for the for the story is there are little mysteries throughout the 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 story about you know she car is going through through some stuff some strange experiences that she's going through that are shown throughout the issue which is really what I think is the big hook. I mean, yeah, you have, you know, your typical um, cliffhanger for the next issue, but that's not really the hook. The hook is really what's going on with her. We see her; she gets tired. Um, you know, her, her dreams. You know, she's trying to remember who she is through her dreams, but you know, her mind sort of. 
as dreams usually do um, have a lot of of uh, meaning and you know, it's her mind trying to make sense of of what I went before but she's lived for eight years on earth uh, so it's a jumbled mess of 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 trying to finally get some at least some answers um, you know she so there's a lot of little things going on in her life that that of course you don't get that payoff in this first issue but it does around the mystery that she's trying to cover of of who she is so that's a hope so I'm interested in that part yeah okay you get the yeah, typical cliffhanger which sort of hooks you to the next issue but it's really what goes on uh, what's happening to her as you know she's uh, what's happening to her throughout the issue especially interesting though is you know this issue takes place on her birthday most of the issue on her birthday or at least what was marked as her birthday which is you know the day she arrived on earth uh, so she's apparently turning 16 but you know and so teenage years you know all these weird things happening uh, you know I'm repeating myself so it's gonna say you gotta really pick this up it's a really good read and I truly enjoyed it I was hooked to the story I was the ring was very absorbing to me as well uh, so yeah 48 pages no ads you know uh, uh, square bound nice cover it's worth it it's worth picking it up and as I said on Twitter um, it was a fun way to end the year so I'm running a little bit late now thought it was gonna be short but I had to pick another thing going on uh, so yeah can't wait to pick up the next issue and uh, uh, if you're wondering it, it actually is a bi-monthly book so the next issue comes out on comes out in February uh, so I guess I'll, I'll end it here um, so once again happy new year and uh, see you in 2017 until next time keep smiling